Hey everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters and today I'm actually creating, I'm playing, and I'm playing with the new dimensional domes. These are so cool for all of your holiday makes. What I like about that, it's this little dimensional dome that you can use on cards, you can even use them on your packages for any of your gift wrap, and you can even use them for home decor, which I think is really, really cool because you can make those really special gifts. And they're super easy to do, so I just thought, well, if I'm making, might as well share with you exactly how it is I'm doing it. So the whole inspiration behind these domes really came from this new tiny snow globe die. I like this because look at all these great little guys you have in there and this of course cool snow globe base. And I have some cut out. I like to do this as a sample for me as well because I can see how all of these little things are put together. It's a good reference sheet. But what's nice about this of course is that we can take anything and add a dimensional dome to it. I, of course, started out with just the tag that comes with my sidekick because I like it. It's the perfect size, especially for the holidays. And I always cut two of those. One is going to be my base and one I'm going to use for my dimensional dome. Now, in order to use the dimensional dome, you need to cut out a circle. And this die already comes with that tiny snow globe die. However, if you don't plan on using any of these little pieces, you can also use an inch and a quarter punch as long as you have that circle that fits the dome. So once we have this, we've got our circle cut out and that's where our dome is going to come through. That's our little base and of course that's part of the die set. And then I've got my background. That same piece that I punched out I'll use as my background on my base tag and my base I'm not going to see. You'll understand it in just a minute. This little piece that goes inside, as long as whatever you're using fits inside that circle, you're good to go. But what I love about this particular die set for the tiny globes is every little element that I need to make my character is all on one die. So whether you're inking or using your markers, it's very easy to use the Sizzix adhesive sheets and just build and stack that, right? So once I have that in there, you're going to take whatever you want to move around your dimensional dome. I'm going to be using glitter, but you can see over here, there's a lot of other things we can use. It can be snow, it can be sequins, it can be really anything to shake around, even tiny beads. And what you're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to pour just a little pile right on the top, right on the top of whatever it is that you've just made, okay? Now here's the whole thing about the dome. The dome itself, this is really what it looks like. It's this half dome, you can see it's very, very clear. It's got this flat ring and this ring is adhesive back already. You don't have to worry about messy glues or anything like that. You're just going to go in, I'll take my die pick and I'm just gonna remove that little liner. I'm going to take that sticky dome and I'm going to place it right over the top of this circle, right? We're just gonna place that over and we're gonna press that down. Just kind of use my fingers just to seal that all the way around. And then we're going to take our cutout piece, the piece that we've cut out that circle, whether we have a base on it or not. And that just goes right over the top of that. I would of course glue these together, just add some glue. And there we have our dimensional dome. It's just that simple. So you can have a variety of things kind of moving and shaking around. You can glue this if you wanted to stitch this, you could stitch the tag first. So many cool creative ideas for using the dimensional dome. So let me share a few of those other ideas now that you see how easy it is to put one together. Of course, we can also take that and just use the dome and put other things in here. Here there's just a little mini bottle brush tree. So if you have any little holiday miniatures that will fit inside that dome, that's a great way to add a little bit more detail to your holiday makes. Or maybe you even want to go a little bit further and create an ornament. So these are dimensional domes that are back to back. How cool is that? Where you just take that little die cut, that's our penguin from the tiny snow globe, cut out two of those, put those back to back, and of course surround it with a snowflake, a wreath, anything. And as you can see, these dimensional domes are the perfect holiday accent, especially adding a little bit of Sizzix creativity to your holiday make. 